Cyber Skills, in partnership with SFI Confirm and the Nimbus Research Centre, have developed specialised cybersecurity services to assess and improve the readiness and resilience of Ireland's smart manufacturing industry. Ireland's smart manufacturing industry need these services to manage their cybersecurity risk. Smart manufacturing need these services because they have never been so vulnerable to cyber attacks. Last year, in many of the published reports, over 60% of incidents were from the smart manufacturing sector, with ransomware and installation of backdoors top reported crimes. Cyber criminals are targeting smart manufacturing industries because they have a low tolerance for downtime and as a result of this low tolerance, a willingness to pay. Network perimeters have changed and are going to change further with new models of work, such as hybrid work, which has resulted in an increased dependency on cloud-based services. Inside network perimeters, we have increasing number of things, which has resulted in a corresponding extension of the threat landscape. And couple all this with a very active and international threat landscape and it's no wonder really that the industry is struggling to keep up. We have developed these services for Ireland's smart manufacturing industry using a state-of-the-art cyber range infrastructure. Cyber ranges allow us to test in a secure sandboxed environment on site with the client the cyber resilience of their digital and IT systems against cyber attacks. This allows weaknesses to be identified and remedied before cyber criminals can't exploit them. Our academic institutions host the only available cyber range infrastructure in Ireland comprising of both cloud and mobile units. And this unique national infrastructure supports the full spectrum of research across all TRL level in addition to providing specialised teaching and training activities. The mobile cyber range provides the critical capabilities that are unique in Ireland for our R&D services that we provide to the smart manufacturing industry. Uh, mobile cyber range is an all-in-one mobile cybersecurity box on wheels. It has a number of main functionalities, which include the modelling of real and representative networks, which can be done at individual work zones or as a collaborative project. It can integrate with real-world equipment and devices. It has a bespoke scenario engine, live traffic generation, and can import and export machines and topologies that are relevant to the industry we're engaged with. In its virtual, controlled, interactive environment, we can simulate a wide range of cybersecurity breaches, complex IT scenarios, and complex IT environments using the latest threats, real-world tools and real-world cyber attacks. So the mobile cyber range has a number of key features. So the key feature that separates the mobile cyber range from traditional cyber ranges is its work zone gates. It contains a number of different work zone gates, the first being a physical gate, which allows us to connect the cyber range to multiple different types of equipment, including a robotic arm, for example. A WAN gate allows us to connect it to another network, including the internet or an industry network. And a work zone gate allows us to connect the work zones together in a fully fledged eight zone network or an individual red versus blue team connections. So our mobile cyber range includes a traffic generator that allows us to replicate real world traffic and interactions. It can simulate over 490 real world application protocols and each one of these allows for customization and modification this including the raw data and supports more than 60,000 attacks and malware with a constantly updated attack library. This ensures our cyber threat scenario use the latest applications and threats and deliver real world legitimate traffic and attacks. The final feature of the cyber range combines the actions and scenarios. So an action is an automated task or set of tasks, for example an in-map scan or a Python script. The key thing here is that these actions can be mapped to the tactics, techniques and procedures to replicate real world attacks. The scenario engine in builds on these actions by developing scenarios, where a scenario is a group of actions that can run in parallel or in series and takes full advantage of the cyber range resources and we can really mimic an advanced persistent threat. So the reasoning behind the attack scenario is we chose one that was a realistic cyber attack in the smart manufacturing industry. The attack scenario uses CyberKill chain to ensure that all major aspects of a real world cyber attack included. This includes reconnaissance, weaponization, delivery, exploitation, installation, command and control and actions on objectives. In the recon phase we performed reconnaissance of the industry website which revealed an internal document that was exposed to the internet. This document contained information about the network layout of the operation plant as well as potential target for the phishing campaign, the OT engineering manager. 
In the weaponization phase, we use Metasploit framework to weaponize a PDF that installs a backdoor on the target. This would allow us to open a connection to the identified engineering computer, giving us remote access to the system. The delivery method was a spear phishing attack that was directed at the OT engineering manager. In the exploitation phase, after initial access, we could bypass both the IT and OT firewalls in place and gain access to the operations network and run nmap scans against the target OT device that revealed vulnerable services. To enable us to run the next stage of the attack, a pivot point was installed that leveraged the OT engineer target machine and enable us to run all commands from the attacker machine. Scanning the UR robot arm revealed an exposed service called Dashboard that allows for remote control of core robot functions acting as our command and control. Exploiting this exposed service allowed us to take control of the robot and deny engineers access. Another vulnerability allowed us to remotely control the robot using Python sockets. This allowed us to give the robot our own instructions while ignoring safety features. This took away the robot availability and introduced safety issues. This demonstration showed a real-world impact to worker safety and production downtime. A resilience assessment can help identify potential weaknesses in your systems. Understanding where these weaknesses exist and dealing with them can help the smart manufacturing sector avoid costly downtime, worker injury and the possible payment of ransomware demands. These services can be accessed via SFI Confirm or the Nimbus Research Centre based in MTU Cork.